Okay, how you doing? It's Jeff from RV Diagnostics. We're continuing that Norco refrigerator. I'm getting ready to take the gas burner valve assembly out. Uh, first, I'm going to remove the igniter. And they're held on by Phillips screws. And then the gas mixer chamber and orifice tube. That's my attack cat. Here, get over there. All right, I'm going to turn the camera around. There we go. All right, so... The igniter is right there okay so you pull that off it's a, it's a female spade terminal and then get a screw right hold on there it's got a little bit of a tilt to it All right okay so here's your igniter All right they got to be an eighth inch away to spark so that'll set to the side now this is where the gas valve is right here All right we explained that yesterday how to take our the other video prior to this remember now we're going to take that off right here there's a phillips screwdriver screw in there let me get a good picture of it for you right there there she is all right so get in there That's rusted a little bit. We'll clean all that up before we put it in a new one. It's coming. Probably out by now, huh? Of course not, right? I usually have power drivers, but I don't want to strip nothing because it's all right. See, it's magnetic. All right, so there's there's that. It's loose. And notice how the flat part goes in. Hold on, right there. See? Comes out of that hole right there. All right, now this goes all the way over to here. All right, right there. I'm gonna put you on pause because there's a couple screws I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna show you though. Hey, remember, I'm not no big video editor guy. All right, so I'll show you where they're at. You see them? This bracket, one, two, buckle my shoe now no, I'm just messing with you all right so and then three and four right down there okay let me get a better light there you go see that one there and that one right there all right so I'll put you on pause and I'm gonna get them off I'll tell you what size it is this is a, a number two Phillips okay putting you on pause all right, like I said, there's three quarter-inch drives. I use six-point or quarter-inch bolts. I use a six-point because there are six points. That way you have less chance of rounding stuff off or the head of the bolt. So you pull this out. All right, get that out of the way. Get some wires out of the way. I know it looks like a mess because it is. All right, you got to bend it a little bit. Get some wires. Turn it a little bit. There you go. She's coming. All right. That is your gas valve. And we're going to take this apart and clean the orifice out. Get all that rust off. All right. Clean that burner. That's where the flames come out of there. It sets up like that. And that's your boiler system right there. We're going to change all this right here. Did you hear that rust? Hmm. All right. So that was tonight's venture. We're pulling the gas valve, feed tube assembly, and burner assembly. And the orifice is in there. And we'll take that up. We did a, um, we did a uh, hot water heater video some time ago. And I showed you how to take all that apart and clean that orifice out. Or the jet, or the orifice, gas orifice. And... You can relate to that, or I can show you on this one too. 
um, redundant is okay. We can learn and learn and learn. Well, thank you again. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostic laying down on the job. Uh, I'm on the floor, as you can see. Um, it's late at night. I'm going to get my butt up and get in there to my wife. Uh, remember, a couple different ways to get me. One is at uh, Seaford, Delaware, 19973. Also, the Facebook page, RV Diagnostics, it's real close to 15,000 members in less than three years. And March the 13th will make the third year. Uh, the other one is a YouTube channel, which you're viewing. Um, and then the other one is the famous one-on-one -on -one troubleshooting. I guide you step-by-step -step through video camera watch, what you're doing. Uh, and there's a lot of people on the Facebook page on the announcement section. I will tell you, it, it's real. It happens. It works. And little by little, you need me less and less. And that place is the website, www.rvdiagnostics.com. Dot com diagnostics plural dot com uh, be glad to see you on there uh, membership fee I mean it adds up to like seven eight dollars a month you know for it and then you add that up for a year that ain't bad to have an RV tech in your pocket or what I call myself a diagnostician once again thank you this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics <laughs>